Before we get into this video, I have a quick update. I made an Instagram called a.rollvermont. I'll put it up on the screen here or something. So make sure you go follow that. I'll try to post stuff on there a few times a week or something. Anyway, now we'll get into the tour. Hey guys, uh, I bought this truck bed camper a couple of weeks ago just to fit in the back of my black truck there. And it's a long story as to why I bought it. So I won't go into it because you may be confused since I already have um, that big camper there. But uh, I bought this one also. I'm just gonna give you a quick tour of this. Um, so this week is gonna be different in that we have two short videos instead of just uh, one 10 minute video. So I'm just gonna give you a quick walk through. I think I paid 1700 for this camper. Um, we got a tarp over it so it doesn't leak in and stuff, but it's in pretty good shape. I, th it's, I think it's a, like a 1980s model Huntsman aluminum camper. You can tell it is aluminum. Unlike this one, which is uh, fiberglass. And it uh, seems pretty good, so let's take a tour. So we'll start along the exterior. I'll show you a picture of it on my truck bed. So here you go. Okay, you've seen those pictures now, so you can see what it looks like in relation to the truck. Uh, so over here we have a little, little overhead space where a bed is, and uh, here's where you attach the power through if you're at a campsite or something, it just takes regular household outlets, 120 volts. Anyway, I have it hooked up, or sitting on these barrels now because the legs are kind of flimsy. These are the loading legs, you just twist that to load it up and down. But they're a bit flimsy since this is pretty old. It's got new lights on the back, and it's got a bunch of bumper stickers, look at that. Here is the propane tanks, there's two of them. When I just have one hooked up, but I think you can hook them together. And then a fire extinguisher, which probably isn't in the best spot, but at least we have one. Oh, and this is kind of handy. It slides out like that. Or probably be easier to show the other side. Slides out like that if you just want to work in there. Up here is the water hookups for, I think, I don't really know much about RV and camping and stuff, but uh, I think that's city water hookup, and then that's for your gross water takeout maybe and in here is where your poop comes out of so you pull that tube out and then it empties that's pretty gross all right let's go on inside of my humble abode sorry the floor is dirty i was just walking in here i'm trekking snow all in here step up on this nice retractable step oh beetle wants to come in the camper you want to come in come on. come Oh, look at that. That's a good leap. Wow. Got some strong legs on this dog. And here is the interior space. Let me turn on the lights. Okay, now I got the lights on and there's a lamp here. So this is the eating area. And uh, supposedly, if you wanted to, you could take this, this and push it down a bit and then fold, use these cushions and make this into a bed. Over here, we have a couch but this also can be pulled into a bed which I'll demonstrate now there you go I'm not sure what this is maybe a uh, twin mattress or something but it's very comfortable And there you have it. Now, let's take a peek at our uh, bathroom quarters, which are bare bones to say the least. So, there's your toilet, there's your crapper, and that's all you get. By the way, that little uh, waviness on the wall kind of looks like water damage, but actually they're just re, uh, they, they were re-insulating the wall, so it's just not finished yet. And I'm not gonna finish re-insulating it because I'm probably just gonna use this in hot uh, climates anyway. Let's move up here. We have a little stove, and I guess I'll light it up for you. Look at that. Proof that it works. That'll be helpful. This stove doesn't work in my big camper, but the big camper was also half price. Next to the stove is the sink. The water is not hooked up currently because uh, uh, it's winter, and so we don't want the pipes to freeze or anything. Got some storage space in here, and the uh, access to the water tank, which the water tanks goes under there. 
I have a microwave that he threw in for free, which is nice. A little heater kind of thing. That uses a lot of power. You can see how much the lights dim. Probably shouldn't use that. Don't want to trip the breaker. Over here, more cabinets for storage. And a refrigerator. This runs on propane and electricity. Here's the master bed up here. There's a little bit of snow damage in that corner over there, which needs to be worked on, but luckily no water got in and compromised it. And here's the heater. This is a propane heater, but the guy who sold me this told me that he prefers just to leave the oven on instead of the heater because it's more efficient. And I think that's everything. I will give you one last slow panorama around. And there you have it. And like I said, it's hard for me to explain why I bought this camper, even though I have the other one. But um, the short reason is these are totally different things. So this is more for just... Uh, I can go me by myself just all over the country and tour and do whatever I want when I get some time off, which I've been wanting to do for a while now, and I will do it soon. Um, the other camper is more of a family thing. I'm thinking it'll be used for family vacations and then uh, maybe put it on some nice uh, property where so we don't have to build a house. Instead, we can just plot the camper down, and that'll be its permanent resting place. Um, and this one I probably will keep and use when when I get the chance to go on vacations. So that's the short answer for you.